Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. Um, it's a beautiful thing when y'all have dropped comments and letting me know the things that you have been healing from and seeing that it, you know, it's put a different energy towards your life is truly a blessing. So y'all keep on at it. You know, we are all a work in progress and we are healing each and every day. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Um, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's a positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathy gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are needing spiritual guidance or needing um, confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media or favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support, and I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my um, background music, meditation music, is called Infinite Abyss. 174 hertz healing emotional and physical pain so figos and i'll post that link in the description box below and my video today is uh twin flame 101 hey okas when the answers we need uh, need come to us in the most unexpected ways and that is so true a lot of times we could be going through something and we desperately need that confirmation on why we're we going through certain things why are we experiencing the things we experience you know there's a lot of times we can be pushing out love and light and stay focused on the positive stay focused on the things that we're trying to achieve and there's like negative situations that appear in our life um, and it's just like sometimes we have to be able to experience that negative situation for us to get the full understanding on why things they are the way they are. You know, I've been doing these videos almost close to three years now. And I can't believe it's been almost three years, but it's just a blessing to me. You know, when I first started, I didn't know where my journey was going. You know, I was just going. They told me to keep pushing and keep pushing, you know, put out videos, put out videos. And it was like from one incident, it was like for me finding my mom, being able to know uh my, my mom's family my biological mom's family as well as my dad you know i had so many, much information coming about uh coming from me for my dad you know knowing all these different things you know awakening a lot of things that i suppressed for so many years because it was so painful and you know being able to go through that experience um i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy but a lot of the things that i went through gave me that strength in myself you know and there's things I really didn't think I'd be able to heal from and there are certain things I'm still working on to heal from so it's like being able to go through that and I didn't understand why do I have to uh, you know feel all these different things that were so painful you know not able to trust the people that I held dear to me you know letting go of people that I never thought I would be able to live without you know all these different changes came to me in a most crazy way it, it just you know my life turned around like overnight but it was like a, a blessing to me you know I had to really see it as that you know there's times I've cried you know trying to understand why did I have to experience these things and it's just like you know I, I put my videos out for things that I have endured things that has came my way the universe wants me to speak about um, being able to know I can make an impact in somebody's life in a positive way to let me know I wasn't alone, you know, because at first I'm like, is anybody else going through stuff like this? You know, are they experiencing the things I'm experiencing too? Can they resonate with the things that have come, came along my, my path as well as theirs? And that's when, you know, I was starting to seek my answers. I was getting with people that I was connecting with to see the things that I needed to change or enhance in myself. You know, basically getting that confirmation. It's like what, what you're doing and making videos is helping others. These are the reasons why you had to go through this. So people can see that your life experiences is, is a, a thing that can really mess you up the mental way. But it can also help you heal and grow in a, in a positive way as well. So a lot of times we, we seek the answers 
that we totally need to get that you know we're wrecking our brains to and you know and it's just the faith the fact is we have to have that faith within ourselves you know and it's hard to have it when you're you know going through so many dark situations you know with mine it's bad that you know i'm trying to mold me and my children's uh, communication being closed because you know it was like before we moved to the south we, we really went through a lot but we were like solid but going through this situation on moving to the south it kind of tore us apart you know and there's things that I had to reflect on that I put my children through that was also put through you know I basically doing what you know my family did to them in some kind of shape way or form so it was like you know things kept hitting me one after another after another and it gave me to that point in time i thought i was going to lose my mind for going through the things i've gone through um losing so many people whether or not it was just people that i, I just no longer associate myself with or people that have passed on um so it's just like going through these different things being able to know i was helping myself heal as well as others is you know really been a blessing there's times that y'all drop me these messages and I, I i break down in tears you know because i never knew the situations that occurred in my life would be able to make a big impact towards other people um being able to see my gift it was not a mental illness that was placed upon me for me to make it feel like there was something wrong with me you know but being able to help others and see that there was other people out here like me they might not have been able to go through the same situation and I'm, I'm just glad i haven't found nobody who went through that as well but going through things you can resonate with you know that was a blessing to me and you know and i never thought i was going to be able to seek my answers through that way because i mean there's days i cried like god why are you allowing these things to happen why did i have to constantly go through this it's like the more i push out uh positivity the, you know more jacked up stuff comes the more things i forgive people on you add more <laughs> you know layers to tragedy that these people have placed on me as well but it's just like you know tragic comes tragic times come you know can be molded into uh healing you know it's all about how you look at it all about how you can focus it you know i had to uh basically convert a tragic situation into a learning process of a situation which gave me growth uh they gave me faith in myself as well as the universe you know there's a lot of blessings that has came in my life for me projecting out you know it, it's just like as soon as i said that my phone lit up <laughs> and you know i really feel blessed of situation that came that, that comes to my life there are certain things that i still struggle with it but i'm a work in progress <clears throat> I mean, no, not every day is going to be perfect for you. Not every every day is perfect for me, you know, but I just try to make the most of it. You know, if I feel like I'm in my feelings about certain things, I take myself away from this platform so I don't have to project that towards anybody else. I never want to project any negativity towards anybody unless that's something that they want me to talk about. And I feel very uneasy about talking about negative situations. I always try to you know push out positivity towards things you know if i'm on a one-on-one -on -one with somebody and we talk we're comfortable with talking you know i allow myself to vent at times and there's sometimes i just keep things towards myself you know and try to get that understanding because i may not understand why you know universe told me to keep that to myself but there's you know not I, I just do exactly what i'm told so it's just like a lot of things that we have to go through you know it can be very painful it can keep you at a low frequency and may have you question your sanity <laughs> or you know people around you you know i mean everything has changed a lot you know since this situation i've lost a lot of people i so-called family and friends there's a lot of people i don't even talk to anymore because of the situations i've gone through after you go through a spiritual awakening your whole so it, it seemed like your whole circle end up changing on you you know and it'll be falling apart but you have to be able to fall apart for certain things to be able to put back together the way you wanted it you know my life was altered my life was changed you know where people wanted to see my life at a certain you know a certain direction or a certain atmosphere or whatever you want to call it but this is my time to be able to mold myself into what I want you know I'm not worrying about what people you know people's happiness they try to make sure I didn't experience any kind of happiness they wanted me to suffer for certain things that I had no control over you know but it's just like doing these videos being able to project the things that I've went through being able to see the lifelong lessons that these tragic situations is able to t teach me 
you know, I pray for everybody that goes through things. There's a lot of things that y'all have opened up and trust me with, and I really appreciate that. You know, if you've been with me for a while, we have probably had our one-on-one -on -one talks, and you know, it never went further than that. So it's just like, you know, being able to help other people that are struggling through things, you know, being able to give people that, you know, that positive reassurance, like, hey, it might be storming now, but the rain, you know, the rain, you have to be able to dance in the rain at times. You have to be able to, you know, dance in the sun as well as the rain. You have to be able to adapt towards everything that changes around you. And it can be hard at times, but that's what the spirit guides are there for. You know, a lot of times where, you know, it's just like yesterday I was watching a certain things and, you know, it's still gone through my life that, you know, I held guilt on things that, you know, if I would have did it this way, I could have did it that way. And it was like, I was, matter of fact, I was watching a movie. Annabelle comes home with my daughter yesterday. We were doing my mommy daughter day and it was like coming towards the end, you know, certain things happen. I ain't going to do, you know, tell y'all to, you know, end it because I'll be spoiling it. But it was a certain thing where somebody had lost their dad and they really felt at fault for the things that happened. If they would have did things in a different way, they might have still been here. And I, my dad knows I still carry that heavy on my heart. You know, if I would have been there, you know, when my dad accidentally overdosed on things, you know, when they gave him that, that safe shot to bring him back, you know, maybe if I was there, this would have happened. And it was like, you know, next thing you know, in the movie, the, uh, the lady, uh, what was her, the woman who was playing Vera Famiga, she was paying, uh, playing, uh, what's her name, Lorraine Warren, and she told the girl, you know, she was getting a message from her dad, and she's like, don't be so hard on yourself, you know, it's not your fault, things happen for a reason, and I just broke down, because that was just like my dad sending that message to her, and I got like major chills, and I just broke down and cried, because there's so much guilt I've, I've held in my heart, you know, because I didn't go a certain route, and it's just a lot of times we can hold that that guilt in our heart saying maybe if I would have just been there you know maybe if I would have did it this way this wouldn't have happened but there's a lot of times certain situations have, have to happen in our lives for us to really truly get that picture you know sometimes we have to get hurt you know at certain situations uh, they can mess us up emotionally mentally spiritually sexually you know just to be able to bring that strength out in you saying there are certain things that had to occur in your life for you to be reminded how much strength you have uh, being reminded to have faith even when you can't see it be patient knowing that like all these things are you know you had to be able to go through it but be patient not every day it's going to be like this. You know, you're going to have happiness in the future. You know, you have to be able to have that faith within yourself as well as the universe. So when we go through things, you know, it teaches us valuable lessons when it comes to people, when it comes to love. You know, there are so many things that I wanted to hate my, my adopted family for, for putting me through. But if I didn't go through these things, I wouldn't have known, you know, what I was capable of doing. I want to know how much my strength, you know, I've been through so much, you know, and experienced so much to be able to be an open book, you know, because this is a very touchy step, subject for me to uh, going through a lot of abuse, you know, because I mimic my dad or I did certain things like my dad or, you know, make facial features like my dad or anything that mirrored him, you know, I was punished for it. And it was like I had a, a held a whole bunch of hate in my heart, you know, because I wasn't able to really express it. My mom allowed me to express it. But when her husband was around, I wasn't able to do that. But just being able to see everything that, you know, I, I'm blessed to be able to have that connection with my dad. You know, it just feels like when our spirits get closer, it allows me to see how we used to, you know, just communicate with him. You know, it would be he would be astro projecting towards me and I'll use play Barbie dolls with them and stuff like that and it's just weird because I'm looking at my dad like you play Barbie dolls <laughs> but it's just a, a lot of beautiful experience that I was able to share you know there's a lot of times I've sat here and cried you know trying to wish that maybe you know if I would have been a little bit more open or just paid attention to the certain things he was saying indirectly when they felt kind of off like it was like certain things he would say it will kind of, com com you know, send me a confirmation about certain things that he would, me and him would know, but not other people. And it just didn't make sense to me. I was like, huh? But, you know, there's times I really beat it myself up for that because we didn't get to connect it, you know, again. But, you know, I have to be able to have faith in the universe. Some things is like, it's not what it seems. 
you know, you have to be able to go through certain situations to get to certain situations. Um, the answers we seek will, you know, it'll eventually come to us, but it will come to us in the ways we weren't even expecting it to. You know, being able to see my life in a nutshell, whatever you want to call it, um, has brought me a lot of strength. You know, even though there's many a days I, you know, behind closed doors, I cry. You know, there are certain things that, you know, just thinking about just, you know, breaks my heart. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, when you know you're desperately wanting to seek answers on knowing why things had to be the way they were. Oh, y'all, hold up. It, it, it brings knowledge towards you um, that the universe is allowing you to know you're, you're a strong person. You know, you just had to go through certain things to experience it to just to know how strong you really are. Um, knowing that, you know, even though people might project hate to you, doesn't mean you should stop loving people. You should stop not having a smile on your face. You know, just because the world might be bitter towards you don't mean that experience has to make you bitter, you know, because it's just even though I've, I, I experienced a lot of hate, a lot of jealousy, a lot of um, diversity towards certain things in my life, you know, but I'm okay. You know, I, I just try not to cry because, it's, you know, you can feel that, you know, um, being able to know I have that special connection with my dad is a beautiful blessing. You know, everything happens for a reason. We learn through the, you know, most painful experiences. So, you know, just be patient. You know, there's things that you wonder about your life as well as your future that, that is a whole, but just know that the universe is going to be able to send you um, messages in the most unexpected ways. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I would love to give a post notification shot out to Harrison. Oh, Tracy. I'm sorry. Tracy uh, Bertolin. I think I pronounced your last name right. My bad if I didn't. Um, but anyways, uh, like and subscribe. Let me know if you resonate with this video. Um, give me a thumbs up. Share. You know, hit that bell if you have not already. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. And I will see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Knowing that your kind words can really, you know, send somebody a long way. So I'll see y'all much later. Much love. Peace.